Welcome. This is the birthday so we are reading for the people who were born 15th of February until 21st. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful live shares and support. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, it is a wonderful, wonderful year. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go in it and see what is transpiring. You have the sun in the middle from your hair, and um, for you Pisces, um, what is transpiring is that you have the energy of the hermit. Now, the energy of the hermit is always just brilliant because you're going to be having a powerful year. So, whoever is born between um, the 15th until the 21st of February, it is going to be fab, fab, fab absolutely fab it's going to be a good year you're going to be resolving issues you're going to be working on things you're going to be creating things so it is absolutely going to be a fantastic year so ladies and gentlemen let's go in the reading I'm a little bit behind time so um let's see what is happening so what we're recognizing here is that a whole lot of you have the energy of the sun let's look at the people who are born 15 16 and 17. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you um, were born 15, 16, 17, 18, on the 18th, the energy of the sun is going to be affecting all of you, okay? It is uh, in which timeline, which month, which period it's going to be affecting. So remember how this work is that if you were born here, you're going to be working out all of the seven months, Coming back, so sometimes you have your own energy double, okay? So be aware of this. All right, so what we're looking at here is um absolutely, absolutely fabulous. There's no question about it. It is a sense of new start is coming in. It is a sense of uh, you recreating your life, um, it is a wonderful energy, there is no question, and it is a really powerful, powerful alignment of energies because the situation is that um, you guys are changing the way you look at things. You're no longer looking at things the way you were looking at things, and you're making changes. A lot of you are going to be taking on the energy of the Empress, okay? And this energy of the Empress is a beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, the the um, uh, of this lady, um, um, this is a lady of uh, emotion, uh, um, water of hurt, and you're taking on that energy. All right, so let's see what is happening. For the people who are born under 15, you have the energy of the magician. And if you're out of work, it's because you are not looking, looking in the, the correct direction, okay? And that is going to be changing because I see you here, Thinking, looking at the things that you have, you have the cup, you have the swords, you have the pentacle, and um, you have the wands. And you're looking at the things because you have infinity, um, infinity ability to reconnect and recreate for yourself and create financial stability. And I see that that is what you're looking at. And I see changes is going to be coming in. So you're using what you have, the power you have in your hands, the tools you have in your hands this year to create a more stable financial stability for you. And I see that this is going to be working out so positive and it is going to be so unbelievable positive that a lot of you are going to be saying, why haven't I done this before? So I see that this year is a year where you're going to be finding in a um in a strength and use whatever you have use whatever you're come you can come by and make changes in your life so people who were born on the 5 the 15th of february it is going to be good it is going to be positive it is going to be you realigning yourself and just uh, um not waiting on anyone anymore but picking up the rain and going with it uh, and you are going to be coming out on top. The energy of two is energy of duality, okay? So the energy of two is always about duality. So some sort of a changes is coming up. 
and uh, I see changes is coming up for a lot of you. A friend is going to be helping you to bring in some sort of a changes in your world. So this is positive. It's a positive situation where the changes um, that need to come in is going to be coming in and you're recognizing that these changes have to come in and you have to make these changes with yourself. And as you start to make these changes, someone is going to be coming in to help you. All right, so we're looking at the people who were born on the 16th. You have a, also a good energy, the energy of the hangman. People are now recognizing something about your work, okay? So um, this energy of the hangman is supporting uh, you guys is really supporting you on a very, very powerful, powerful way. It is supporting you. It is showing you the way forward. It is letting you know, hey, um, your work is good. Your work is good. I see people are recognizing that, you know, you have the ability to create um, absolutely wonderful. It's going to be a year where um, you're going to be working very hard. Um, a, a, a very, very hard, but you're going to be creating a lot of wealth for yourself. If you're out of work, um, in this year, you got to call upon the universe and say, Hey, universe, um, you know, send me the right job, not the job that after a year or two years or not the job that I'm going to feel as if I'm at the wrong place at the wrong time. I need to have the right job. So the energy of the hangman is going in and is, uh, recognizing that, hey, I'm good at what I do. And some of you might just branch out in working for yourself. And that would be good because most of uh, the richest people in the world are Pisces. Okay. So that is going to be absolutely, absolutely good. So a lot of you are recognizing, hey, I've been giving these people my energy, my power, and now I'm going to be taking it back. And as you do that, um, people are going to be recognizing, hey, this person have a lot of uh, expertise that I could use and the, the, you know, people are going to be really bringing you on board with them. And this is going to be good. So I see um, people are going to be recognizing that a lot of you have been cheated out of a lot of work, a lot of business. Um, they're going to be recognizing that a lot of you um, were cheated out of work and business um, they could have stolen from your business. They could have used your business in order to acquire some sort of a, a corporate a fraud, that sort of a thing. And you are, are, are the one that is going to be recognizing and showing it up and is going to be um, really recognizing what is transpiring. So this is going to be good because eight is infinity. And it's as if they're investigating and recognizing that a lot of you were cheated out of a whole lot of uh, um, business, work, business, cheated at the workplace, never move forward, um, paid little and never, um, you know, have anything to show for it, for your good work that you have been doing. And they're going to be recognizing that someone has been um, cheating, um, somehow taken from you. And they're going to be bringing this to an end, okay? Because they recognize that um, if you notice, the energy of the fox is never, ever. And they're going to be recognizing that a friend um, um, was, uh, you know, was very deceiving. Whoever this friend is, they're going to be recognizing, oh, this friend has cheated you out of a whole lot of money and a whole, uh, and you know, use your information in order to acquire a whole lot of wealth and they're going to be recognizing this. So it is a year that is going to be a year of revolution that you're going to be recognizing who people are and how people go about doing things. So be aware of that. Then as we look at the people who were born on the 17th, the energy of the moon, something about a cancer man is going to be coming out. Now, some of you men, if you had secrets, whoever that was born on the 17th, if you had secrets, these secrets are going to be coming out. There is no question about it. These secrets are going to be coming out. So whoever that was born on the 17th of February, whatever your secret is or was, whatever that you were, um, you were holding, because a lot of you were cheaters, a lot of you were cheating, a lot of you had multiple partner. I see these secrets is going to be coming out. People are going to be recognizing. People are going to be finding out what was happening, what was transpiring. 
I see an end is going to be coming in um, for a lot of men that are people who have been cheating. I see that they're going to be recognizing um, that, uh, you know, men, uh, cheaters is going to be recognizing, hey, I need to stop this. I wish I didn't do this. Now the secret is out. My whole life is ruined. I have to start from scratch. So it's going to be, whether it's um, in your personal life, in business, or at the workplace, I see that they're going to be finding out and bringing an end. Um, and if some of you have a cancer boss, an uh, end is coming up to this cancer boss, they have recognized what this cancer boss have done, and they're bringing an end to it. They recognize uh, the horrible, horrible play of this person and how this person had cultivated some sort of a um bitterness against some of you and they're going to be bringing it to an end and they're going to be saying no more because they recognize how oh, this person have blocked you um so that you could not uh, um uh you know manifest uh show your potential show what it is that you could do and they're recognizing the horrible play of this man and another woman and how they have created a whole lot of the deceptive lies and deceptiveness around you and try to, um, you know, ruin your reputation. And they're going to be bringing an end to this. So, um, you know, you guys um, stay alert, stay away. You're going to be dealing with people and these people have a lot of secrets, but their secrets is going to come to an end. And I see you guys are going to be so surprised the people that had all these secrets and what they were doing and how they created a whole lot of problem and issue for you. All right. So um, let's look at the center of uh, um, this year for you guys, the energy of the sun, the sun with the hermit. So it is a powerful year for you guys. And what I'm saying to you guys, especially people who are born on the 18th um, of February, you are going to be having so much clarity, so much clarity, so much clarity is going to be coming up. Light is going to be shed and so much clarity is going to be coming up. People are going to be recognizing, um, you know, what, 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 what was happening. You're going to be bringing um, truth to the desertness of uh, um, what was happening under the scene. And I see a lot of you together with a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn woman is going to be bringing out some truth, letting people recognize and seeing the truths that has been happening and transpiring and recognizing um, the, uh, you know, that, um, you know, you and this person, if this is your partner, is going to be successful, extremely successful. You and this person is going to be um, creating um, some sort of a new stability, moving in and 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 being a very very productive, uh, creating wealth and stability for yourself, and this is going to be good. A lot of you is going to be connecting with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, and you are going to be um, working together. And I see that this is going to be a powerful, powerful you know, um, uh, col collaboration. It's going to be an extremely powerful collaboration because it's as if both of you are recognizing your weakness and your strength. And when one have the weakness, the other one fill in that weakness and vice versa. And I see um, the energy of the hermit is like, this is um, who is watching over you guys and is recognizing, gee, wow, this person have a lot of potential and we can, you know, brainstorm together and create a masterpiece. And I see that this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So I see a lot of you could be moving in with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, or you could be getting married, or you could be creating business um, with this person. Maybe this person is your mom. I see you could be returning home um, to your mom. I see... Um, a wonderful alignment of energies and people are recognizing and seeing how um, you two have created a masterpiece out of nothing. And I think that that is what people are going to be giving you. Um, like they're going to be like ending you things on, um, on a platter because they recognize that um, whoever this person is, is going to be recognizing how, um, 
you know, wonderful that you can brainstorm and create masterpiece. So I see a lot of you Pisces are going to be having also this energy. So if your mom is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, I see you're definitely going to be there for your um, your um, mom. And if they're, if you're in a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, they are going to be there for you. Um, some of you could be moving in together. Some of you could be creating an establishment together or creating a business together. But it's going to be powerful, all right? Okay, let's move in and see what's happening. So we're looking at the people who were born on the 19th. We have transition, transition, and this transition is good um, because what is transpiring with this transition is that a whole lot of you um, were oppressed, okay? The 10 of ones, a whole lot of you were oppressed. This oppress is going to be over, and I see new doors of opportunities is going to be um, opening um, because... Uh, um, whatever that was blocking and creating problems issue that is going to be over and I see a new door of opportunity is going to be coming in this is going to be powerful take it move with it go with it um, because it's as if the transition is now over so if we look at um, um, the energies we see transition and um, the end is coming up um, for a uh, um, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran. Whoever this Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran uh, is, I see an end is coming up for this person. Whatever this person had created, I see they recognize uh, the false height and deceptiveness of this person. And I see that uh, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn woman is going to be helping some of you to get out of some sort of a situation because they recognize uh, the unfair game and the deceptive play of this person and what this person had done and created. So transition is going to be powerful for you guys that is born on the 19th. So this is going to be absolutely, absolutely um, good. A positive alignment of energy. So um, oppression 10, 22, two really heavy numbers. 22 is about the, the um, you know, you have come to a point where you are going to be making some sort of a changes in your life. This is going to be good. This is going to be moving you in a really powerful space, okay? All right, let's look at the people who were born on the 20th. Judgment, another wonderful energy. And this judgment is coming down um, on um, ending, you know, there's a, it's whatever is transpiring for you people who were born on the 20th, judgment oh my god whoa okay people all righty so you were you were having judgment which is the 20th on the 20th lucky 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 Ooh. oh my gosh congratulations it's gonna be a good year for you guys um the 20th on the 20th yes 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 congratulations guys that is a powerful energy so this is what i was saying to a lot of you um, the 20th on the 20th, this is, this is really powerful. Um, in the month of February, 20th on the 20th on the month of February. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's all about duality. It's all about real positive things. Plus we have the energy of 22 here. So I see a lot of you who are born on the 20th. Um, the oppression is also going to be over and a new start is going to be coming in. Um, this new start is going to be good because um, this new start is coming in after you um, had to um, come down. I see um, people coming down on a Aquarian or a, a Libran or a Gemini, but it is more as a Gemini, a young Gemini, Aquarian, Gemini or Libran. I see a judgment call for this person and whatever this person have done, is this a princess? Yes. They're coming down on this person because they recognize some sort of a false play on this person. And I see they're really coming down on this person. So I don't know who this person is. This is a young lady between the age of 18 and 45. And I see it could be your, your child, but you're standing your grounds and making sure that this person make the right decision, whoever this person is and whatever it's transpiring. So I see... Um, a lot of you who are parents to an uh, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran, you're going to be coming down hard on this person 
Is it because you want this person to do good or is it because this person has created some sort of an issue in your world and you're going to be a really, really coming down on this person in order um, to remove some sort of an instability and some sort of a deceptive play of what was happening and transpiring. And then people are going to be recognizing um, that this person was being very disturbed and dishonest. Okay, so judgment call is coming down on a young um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. I see um, they're like on this person recognizing what this person have done and it's going to be um, creating some sort of a new change and it's going to be ending a situation. So that is good. As we look at the people who were born on the 21st of February, um, we see that um, you, especially if you're a woman, you are going to be really coming down on a young person. I don't know who this young person is. I don't know what this person have done, but a whole lot of you have to deal with Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra women. And I see you're going to be coming down on this person. The best thing about it is that a new start is coming in and news is going to be coming in for you. Um, you people who were born um, on the 21st. Uh, of February, it, it's going to be a year where materialistic stability and you starting your materialistic stability, you are going to be having like buying houses, car or that sort of a thing. Even in these times, unexpected miracles, it depends on what is your good year. So, um, you know, people who are born on the 21st and on the 18th, this is going to be a very, very powerful year for you guys because uh, um, some sort of assets, um, you know, it could be, you know, someone passed away and left you, um, a whole lot of assets, but it is more of, uh, um, creating this for yourself. Okay. However way you do it, do it in a positive way. Cause if you do it in a criminal way, they are going to be coming to get you. Okay. So however you do it, you gotta recognize that you have to do, um, however you're getting your wealth and stability, especially the people who were born on the 21st, this is going to be powerful um, because what is transpiring is that you're a cups person. So it's as if it is your lucky year. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, it is your lucky year. And people are going to be recognizing um, that whoever you are that is born on the 21st is as if uh, you had seven bad years and now seven good years. Uh, and then you're going to be having seven good years as of the 21st. This is also your year. And I, now I recognize why you have the energy of the Empress because it's the year 2021. And the year 2021 is, is given to you um, ways and means to create and build back on your financial stability. So, you know, this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous because whatever is happening and transpiring, um, the truths are going to be revealed. People are going to be recognizing, um, you know, that you are getting a break it's as if this year for people who were born in 2021 is like you're getting a big break. It's a huge break. It's as if the gods and goddesses and universe came in and said, hey, these people have been going through a, a rather um, unfair play that was happening here. I'm going to make it, I'm going to help this person to create a better world for themselves. So it is, you know, absolutely fabulous. It, it, you know, whatever way you look at it, people who were born on the 21st of the February, it's going to be an extremely lucky year. And it's going to be a year that you need to use your creativity to mastify and take back your powers, okay? So use your creativity to mastify and take back your powers because it's going to be an absolutely, absolutely grand year for you guys. It is your year. Use it. Take the, take this year um, by the bull by the horn and use it to power through and create wealth stability for yourself, okay? It is about you recognizing that you have the power. It's about you recognizing that this year 
and the angels and guides is working on your side okay there you see the energy of the emperor now if you wanted to get pregnant and you couldn't get pregnant i see that this could be happening in this year for a lot of you women a lot of you women who have fertility problem um that is going to be changing in this year um whatever problem whatever issues that was going on that is going to be definitely changing this year it is going to be a year where money wealth and stability is what you are working towards okay you're creating and you're creating um your creativity is going to be very high very very high so it is as if you guys have this lucky lucky um deep in this year people um everyone that was born from the 15th until the 21st the luckiest people is the people that was born um the 18th and the 21st because you are having these powerful energies it's as if uh, the universe came in and said hey it's about time you start to recognize who you are and that your creativity can make you a multimillionaire it is as if so some good news is going to be coming in about a new start whatever is happening and transpiring some real positive news is going to be coming in um about a new start um for a lot of you guys a lot of you had a friend that was uh, really dishonest and it's coming to an end a lot of you are going to be buying houses or moving houses in this year so recognize that um i see a lot of people especially people that was born on um the 20th no uh uh yeah the 19th um you're going to be at a crossroad where you have to make some decision but it's as if the burdens that you were going through is now coming down and you are going to be free from some sort of an issue that was holding you back. I do love this for you guys. It's going to be a very lucky year. Um, please like and share. Thumbs up these videos. Let people know. Um, you know, make sure um, that you thumbs up because it helped the algorithm. Um, and uh, um, please like and share these videos. Please check out the weekly readings. They're going to be coming up. I love you guys. Gotta go. Namaste.